Ecologists have been warning of a sixth mass extinction. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scientific discoveries you should be worried about. And it's trapped down there right now, nothing to worry about. But when it starts unfreezing, that's when it could get scary. For this list, we'll be looking at the most shocking scientific discoveries with potentially harmful long-term effects that you may not have heard or heard enough about. Which of these scares you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Microplastics in Water Many people worry about formaldehyde in water, as high concentrations can cause various health effects. Tests detected elevated levels of man-made chemicals known as per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS. They're colorless, tasteless, and scientists say potentially dangerous to human health over time. But what may be even scarier are the amount of microplastics. These are very small pieces of plastic that enter natural water sources and maybe even our brains. 51 trillion such particles float in the ocean where they are even more easily swallowed by all kinds of marine life. This has raised concerns among scientists, especially about health risks from the chemicals that are added to plastic. A study conducted in South Korea's Daegu Gyeongbuk Institute of Science and Technology found that microplastics can pass through a mouse's blood-brain barrier, which is used to keep external matter out of the important organ. Even worse, a study published in Environment International showed that over 75% of their human test subjects had microplastics in their blood. These studies are still very limited, but they are getting us closer to understanding how the accumulation of plastics in our environment particularly our atmosphere, is affecting human health. These plastics can lodge themselves in organs and cause cell death, which may result in increased cancer rates and just maybe breach the human blood-brain barrier too. Number nine, prions. The more we learn about prions, the scarier they sound. A prion is a type of abnormal protein that infects all nearby proteins, thereby causing a chain reaction. All prion diseases are caused by the misfolding of the same protein called PRP, which after years of study we have determined does something. It's unclear how a prion is made, but we know its devastating consequences. Prions cause neurodegenerative conditions called TSEs, which are both fatal and incurable. In humans, these include gertzmann strausser shankler syndrome, fatal insomnia, and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. An abnormal infectious protein called a prion is believed to be the cause of CJD, actually creating holes in and around neurons in the brain. It co-ops the normal protein and then it becomes a self-replicating or self-amplifying process. While these are extremely rare, more common diseases like ALS, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's may also be linked to prion accumulation. The chances of getting a misfolded protein like this are very slim, but it's terrifying to know that a rogue one could lead to incurable wasting and eventual death. Sometimes those proteins can go rogue and get bent out of shape, but right now we don't totally understand how or why it happens. And when those proteins become prions, they can bind to other proteins like them and make them bend in the same way. And then those messed up prions corrupt even more proteins, and so on. Number eight, limnic eruptions. The understanding behind limnic eruptions is relatively new, as only two have been observed in modern history. Both occurred in Cameroon, the first in 1984 and the second in 1986. Lake Nios in Cameroon suffered a carbon dioxide leak. The resulting gas cloud killed over 1,700 people in nearby villages. A limnic eruption is when carbon dioxide rises from a lake and erupts into the atmosphere in the form of a gas cloud. It's like poking a hole in that over-pumped soda can and suddenly everything is covered in liquid and fizz. Except that instead of getting a little sticky, the liquid is a 25-meter wave of water and the fizz is a giant deadly cloud of carbon dioxide. This cloud then displaces the oxygen in the air and smothers everything in its path. The 1984 eruption led to the loss of 37, and the second resulted in an estimated 1,700. A lake between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo called Lake Kivu has been showing signs of a potential limnic eruption. If this occurs, the event could kill millions. Any disturbance to the lake from seismic activity or a lava flow could result in the gases leaking out. Kivu is one of only three known lakes in the world where the specific conditions for this catastrophic event could occur. Number seven, lingering radioactivity. For as long as we've been studying radiation, its potential has terrified us. The concept of radioactivity was pioneered by Polish physicist Mary Curie, who won a Nobel Prize for her efforts. In 1903, Henri Becquerel and the Curie were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their pioneering work. Eight years later, Marie Curie received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. 
for her contribution to research on radium and polonium. However, her work had seemingly deadly consequences, as she died at 66 from aplastic anemia. Her papers are still dangerously radioactive and kept in special boxes to prevent contamination. She conducted a lot of her work here. And this is her office. She would have sat right there. Apparently, there are only a few parts of this area which are still radioactive. This, in turn, has raised questions about lingering radioactivity. For example, Bikini Atoll has not been resettled, as the radiation still affects local food supplies. Even worse is Ukraine's Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, the off-limits area that was created in the aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster. This place is just so radioactive, it's uninhabitable. We've been allowed just one hour to film here today before we must get out. While the area is safe to visit for brief periods, it may not be habitable for thousands of years. Number six, microbes in glaciers. 2022 was a terrifying year for climate change. As the situation continues to worsen, we received some devastating news about our melting glaciers. It may look harmless enough. This ice could be hiding a deadly secret cryogenically preserved bacteria and viruses that could be hundreds of thousands of years old. New microbes that are trapped inside the ice are slowly being released as the glaciers melt. There are thousands upon thousands of microbes in the water, most of which are unknown to science and some of which could be pathogenic in nature. Should these microbes find their way into local water supplies, they could spark new and devastating pandemics. Scientists worry that as permafrost melts, it could unearth all sorts of diseases we thought we had under control. Unfortunately, this may be even worse than it sounds. Recent research has also proved that antibiotic resistance is on the rise, meaning bacterial infections are getting harder to treat. The response has to be a joined up response with agriculture, with fisheries, with trade, with industry, and with national governments across the world. This could be a perfect storm for destruction. Number five, the asteroid that nearly hit us. If one thing has the power to literally destroy the Earth, it's an asteroid. And unfortunately, asteroids can be difficult to find. We can't see all of the asteroids that are coming at us. Sometimes they are surprising. On September 17th, 2021, scientists noticed that a large asteroid had passed very close to Earth the previous day. Named 2021 SG, the asteroid was up to 308 feet in diameter and was traveling at over 50,000 miles per hour. However, astronomers never spotted it because it came from the direction of the sun. Tracking asteroids in our solar system is key. Now, right now, the vast majority of the asteroids that are large enough to destroy a city are untracked. This asteroid was about four times larger than the famous Chelyabinsk meteor that exploded over Russia in 2013, breaking windows and injuring 1,500. It came out of nowhere, a bright speck in the sky, soon streaking across the horizon, followed by an almost apocalyptic scene, a blinding flash of light, and then all hell broke loose. That meteor was also obscured by the sun. Makes you wonder how many other dangerous rocks are hurtling straight for us. Number four, the dwindling number of bees. Insects are dying off at an alarming rate. Our data that we've collected here in Kent mirrors the data in other studies for insect decline, and the consequences of that are catastrophic. One analysis published in Biological Conservation estimates that about 30% of all insects are currently endangered. Their collective mass is also declining at a rate of 2.5% per year. If insects continue to die off, it will likely cause widespread devastation on global ecosystems and agriculture. And entomologists are warning that we're getting dangerously close to the point where we don't have enough bees to meet our country's pollination demands. Bees are in particular danger. A 2021 study published in One Earth indicates that one quarter of the world's bee species hasn't been seen or reported in 30 years. Things like farming practices and climate change have significantly decreased the global bee population, and these insects are paramount to food production. Without them, staples like fruits and vegetables may become increasingly rare. Globally, three out of every four crops rely on bees for pollination. Our food will get way more expensive. Uh, the people who have money are gonna be the ones that have access to things like really good fruits and vegetables that keep us healthy. Number three, the supervolcano under Yellowstone. Many media outlets have exaggerated reports about the Yellowstone caldera. Perhaps the most famous and feared volcano in America, Yellowstone last erupted over 640,000 years ago. In two of the 
really large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material comes out, entire mountain ranges end up falling into the ground and essentially disappearing. Should it do so again, the global climate would be altered and catastrophic damage could occur across the United States. Most of the information regarding Yellowstone was researched by a scientist named Bob Christensen, whose work spanned the 1960s and 70s. Volcanoes don't operate on precise cycles. That's just not how they work. The forces that lead to an eruption don't build at a constant rate. So there isn't a volcano on Earth that's overdue for an eruption of any kind. It's a myth that Yellowstone is overdue to erupt, and the chances of it doing so again are actually quite minuscule. In fact, many experts are convinced that Yellowstone will never experience another super eruption. The Yellowstone caldera is already slightly to the northeast of the major magma chamber beneath it. Yellowstone might simply be dragged away from its heat source before it gets a chance to blow its top again. So there's really no reason to lose sleep worrying about a super eruption. But the possibility still exists, and that's a terrifying thought. Number two, we're in a mass extinction. It's not just the insects that are disappearing. Research has shown that the world as we know it today is currently in the midst of what is called the Holocene extinction. A study published in the journal Science Advances found that animals are going extinct 100 times faster than they should be. Another analysis by the World Wildlife Fund and the Zoological Society of London says nearly half of all wildlife on this planet disappeared in the last 40 years. This event is hitting pretty much every living being, from fungi all the way to mammals and fish. The primary driver for this extinction event is the ever-growing human population and its effects on habitat destruction. Yet it's humans that have put all of this at risk. Pollution, climate change, and the exploitation of habitats and loss of biodiversity are playing havoc with ecosystems. Humanity continuously raises forests, overfishes the oceans, and focuses extensively on meat production, to name just a few current problems. A 2011 study published in the journal Nature found that 75% of all animal species could be extinct by 2300. Some biologists think that with our habits, we're on track toward human extinction in later centuries. Others think we'll just be thinned out, but we will survive. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, the devastating effects of climate change. Scientists are hard at work researching climate change and the highly destructive impact that it will have on future generations. Three degrees of warming is really disastrous. The scary thing is, the world is well on its way there. Since the Industrial Revolution, the Earth has warmed between 1.1 and 1.3 degrees Celsius. Some consequences are currently being observed, like rising global temperatures, damaging wildfires, and melting glaciers. It's scary, but what's even scarier is that this is just the start. Right now, there is CO2 pouring out of tailpipes, there is CO2 pouring out of buildings, there's CO2 pouring out of smokestacks, but you can't see it. The fundamental cause of this problem is largely invisible to most of us. The worst is yet to come, according to the continued National Climate Assessment reports. These effects include more fierce hurricanes, brutally hot temperatures, and resulting droughts, increased precipitation in the north, and rising sea levels. In fact, some believe that the oceans may rise as much as 8 feet by just 2100. Thwaites stores enough water to increase global sea level by almost 3 feet if it all melted. 10 feet if the ice it helps hold in place slides into the sea behind it. This in turn will wreak catastrophic harm on coastal cities. Frankly, it's not looking very good. 